Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations and so much more. Today I am at the Tampa Bay Fall RV Show and I'm going to take you on a tour of some Intec towables. So let's get started. This is the 2024 Intec Soul Horizon Rover. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. So as you enter, you have this U-shaped dinette area, table swivels right around, big panoramic window, take a look at the camera cabinet space above. Right on the side is the refrigerator. Little freezer on top. Microwave above. You have a little bit of countertop space right below the microwave. The rest of the kitchen is right across so there's a two burner cooktop. Lots of drawers below. The bottom one is pretty large and the others are somewhat smaller. Farmhouse sink, pull out sprayer for the faucet, lots of storage right beneath that sink. I'm going to show you the cabinets above. All right, let's check out the bathroom, which is right across. Take a look. No shower curtain needed in there. It's actually a pretty good size. The toilet is large and porcelain. The bedroom's in the rear. And it will sleep too. Some cabinets back here. Shelf on each side for your little nightstands and TV right here also. This is the 2023 Intec Soul Eclipse. Let's step inside. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. So as you enter, you are entering the kitchen area, which is actually a pretty good size. You have a lot of countertop space all around. Large farmhouse sink. Some storage right below. Cabinets on top. Cubbies throughout. There's one on each side and a bank of cubbies right there on the side. Some more countertop space right here above the refrigerator. There's even a little freezer on top. Microwave is on this side. Two burner cooktop right on top. And some storage below. Let's take a look at the bathroom. So TV located right across, cabinet storage above, you get a little bit of countertop space right below, and some storage below that. Check out the rear dinette area, which is also your bed area. Table in the center, swivels right around. Lots of windows throughout, feels nice and open. This is the 2024 Intex Soul Dawn. Let's check it out. Here is an overview of the layout.
And here are the specifications. So you immediately notice how large this dining area is. This is also going to transform into your sleeping area. Large table right in the center swivels around. Cabinets right on top. Take a look at the big panoramic window. Large windows on each side also. There's storage cabinets on each side along with some cubbies. Right on the side is microwave, refrigerator right below, little freezer on top, across is the TV which swivels out, a little bit of countertop space right below that, and some storage below. The rest of the kitchen is upon entry of the coach, nice little area. You do have a little bit of countertop space behind the cooktop and the sink. Take a look at how large this farmhouse sink is. <laughs> Two burner cooktop. Four drawers below. Some storage space right beneath that sink. Big window right in the front. Let's take a look at the bathroom. This bathroom has a little bit of a slant on the ceiling. I'm 5'4", so you have a reference, but no shower curtain needed. And it's actually a pretty good size arm-wise. All right, on to the next. This is the 2024 Intec Terra Magnolia. Let's check it out. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. Lots of room in here with this U-shaped dinette. It is very spacious large table that rotates, good amount of upper cabinet space, large panoramic window, big windows right on the side. Right on the side here is where you'll find your battery disconnect. Right below, some slide out shelves, great for pantry storage. Check out all this countertop space right below the TV. Take a look at the freezer and the refrigerator. Right across is the rest of the kitchen, large farmhouse sink. That is quite spacious. Decent amount of countertop space on top, two burner cooktop, convection microwave below, and a little drawer right below that. Cabinet space on top, alright let's check out the bathroom. Okay, it's a good size, got some good arm room, large porcelain toilets. Now we're headed into the rear bedroom area. Good size bed, there's even a padded headboard back there. I'm gonna take a look at the wardrobe. So there's a hanging rack on top. Got a little bit of a nightstand area on the side of the bed. A drawer. 
Take a look at that cabinet. Cubbies on each side. Big windows back here on each side also. And in the rear. And some nice upper cabinets. This side has a little bit of storage on the side. And the TV is back here. This is the 2023 Intec OVR Navigate. Let's check it out. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. So upon entering, you have this L-shaped dinette area, big table that swivels around, kitchens located upon the entrance. You have a little bit of countertop space behind the cooktop and the sink, two burner cooktop, the convection microwave below, large storage drawer, big farmhouse sink, Good amount of storage right below that sink. And let's take a look at these upper cabinets. Big window right up front, a little bit of backsplash below. Let's check out the freezer and refrigerator. Nice big size. There's a cubby on top that goes back pretty deep. Now right across, there's another cubby right on top, TV down below, countertop space below that, and a bank of drawers. So three smaller ones and one. It's an access port. All right, let's move on. Large wardrobe area with some shelves. All right. Let's check out door number one back here. So you have a good sized porcelain toilet, a little sink, some countertop space all around, a couple of cubbies, big mirror, and nice large sliding open window. I'm gonna step in and take a look at the space. It's not huge but it doesn't have the shower in here. So let's check out the other door. So I'm gonna step in the shower and check it out. You know, it's a decent size. Don't need a shower curtain. I'm loving it. Bedroom it has this sliding door for privacy and take a look at the bedroom. Good sized bed, comfortable for two people. TV back here, some cabinets above, big windows on each side, skylight on top. Each side has this storage cabinet and there's more cabinets in the rear large nightstand with a drawer below. On this side, there's an upper cabinet and a wardrobe with a small hang rack, cubby on top and two below. This is the 2023 Intec Soul Dusk. Let's check it out. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications.
so nice large dining area right up front good sized table that swivels around large windows up front here storage space on top cubbies on the side right on the side of this dinette area is the microwave refrigerator below even has a little freezer on top rest of the kitchen is right across so there's some cabinet space above big window two burner cooktop large stainless steel farmhouse sink four drawers underneath that cooktop good amount of storage right under the sink all right let's take a look at the bathroom Good amount of room in there. No shower curtain needed. Large porcelain toilets. Rear of the coach has two sofas, can be used as twin beds, and even converts into a large king size. Little end table right between these sofas can also be your nightstand when you're using them as twin beds. Wardrobe on the side with a hanging rack. Cubbies on each side. And back here above the rear area, there's some storage. And this TV swivels out so you can watch it back here or from the front dining area. This is the 2023 Intec Luna Rover. Let's check it out. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. Hey, Zach. Hey, guys. Right. So come on in here. This is the Intec Luna Rover. It's the smallest of the Intec lineup. As you can see, you have your pads to make either your couch or your bed. You have a full-sized air conditioner as well as a nice fireplace that does throw Ooh. off a good amount of heat. You got an RV TV and then plenty of storage up above. One of the biggest points in here is you probably wonder where you go to the bathroom. You just lift this up <laughs> Check that and out. you have this perfect electric toilet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It has electric flush and its own two gallon tank to oh. flush and conceal any smells. Interesting. And then of course you have the signature Intec windshield that just makes this thing feel so open. Awesome. So is that storage on the sides also? Yep. You got storage on each side. And if you do option this without the toilet, mm -hmm. this is one big storage area that will be accessed from either just the top or from the exterior. All right. Well, thank you. And we'll come around to the back. Oh, check this out. This and then you have really your full nice. outdoor kitchen. You have your little flood light up here to light everything up at night. You will still have accent lighting and speakers. So you have your Dometic two burner cooktop, your stainless steel farmhouse sink, and your electric cooler. Nice. And look at all the storage above too. This is awesome. Yep. You got storage hooks for all your utensils and little storage cubbies. cubbies. And then, like I said, you got all your lights, your water pump. And it's the perfect little RV it just is. to sleep in and have a quick little trip. All right, thank you. This is the 2024 Intec Flyer Chase. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. Spare tire on the side. Roof racks. Take a look inside. There's some mattresses that you can sleep on or you can pull them out and tow some gear. Some storage on the side, countertop space and some cubbies. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of Intech Towables. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for many more videos. Bye for now.